Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here from the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of materials. I've put this question in a handout and you may download a copy for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's get started. Let's look at question 3 of materials in class exercise 2. Felicia wanted to find out which material A, B or C absorbed the most water. So she placed them into three similar containers as shown below. So this question is testing for the materials absorbency. After 10 minutes, she removed the materials and she measured the amount of water left in the containers and she recorded her results in the graph below. So let's analyze the results now. The container that material C was placed in showed that it had the most amount of water left inside the container. And in fact, the amount of water left is 200 ml. And this is the same amount of water that was placed in the container before the start of the experiment. So let's write it down. Same amount of water left. What does that tell us? Was any water absorbed by the material? No, no water was absorbed by material C. No water absorbed. And therefore, we know that material C is not absorbent, hence it is waterproof. And if we look at the results for material B, it had the least amount of water left in the container as compared to the other two. So let's write down least amount of water left. What happened to most of the water? Most of the water was absorbed by material B. Most water absorbed and this shows that material b must be the most absorbent material out of the three most absorbent now that we have analyzed the graph let's look at the questions part a based on the graph above which material a b or c is the most absorbent explain Aha, we know this already, right? We have found that material B is the one that is most absorbent. But how do we phrase our answer? As you can see, this is a which explain question. So we need to use our answering technique called CUE. What does CUE stand for? Choose, use data, and X. So now we have chosen B as our answer. The next step that we need to do is to use the data. And this is something that most students forget to include in their answers. So let me teach you how to use data. Data is basically information that is given by the question itself, either in a graph or table. In this case, we have a graph over here. And when we use the data, we use the exact words given in the graph, which means for this question, we use the data by saying the amount of water left in the container which had material B is the least. And that is how you use the data. Next, explain. When we explain, we state what we can infer from our data. That means what can we conclude from this data. So since the amount of water left in the container is the least, this shows that material B absorbed the most water and is the most absorbent. And that's how we should phrase our answer using CUE. Now, let's look at part B. Based on the graph above, which material A, B or C is most suitable for making a beach ball? And we need to give a reason to support our answer. Now, would you want your beach ball to be able to absorb water? No, right? It should not absorb water. Therefore, it has to be 
waterproof. And which material out of A, B, C is waterproof? It is material C. And once again, we can apply C, U, E for this question as well. Let's choose first. We choose material C. Next, we need to use the data. So same as earlier, look at the graph and use the exact words in the graph. The amount of water left in the container with material C remains the same. And what does this show? This shows us that material C did not absorb any water and is not absorbent. Hence, it is waterproof, which is similar to the beach ball. Therefore, remember to always use CUE for questions that require you to choose.